Partnerships and relationships are hard. I thought I might just start with my first etching, uh, which I did in 2000 and, sorry, no, <laughs> 1981. <laughs> sorry, I slipped at the time. <laughs> um, and, and it was during my second year at Alexander Mackey, uh, which was during my studies, uh, going through a change to uh, City Art Institute. Um, now, it's a bit of a clunky, um, and raw student effort, but it depicts certainly my core and consistent interest in autographic mark making and really bad plays on words. Um, it's actually an image of my father who died in late 2009, and my father was a father. In other words, he held high office in the Anglican Church of Australia. Um, and at his funeral, his friend, uh, uh, Bruce Wilson, who was the uh, Bishop of Bathurst at the time, spoke about how Dad valued the old-fashioned term for appointing a priest to a parish, the induction into the cure of souls. So the theme for tonight's talk is an opportunity for reflection. Even though I have no um, religious or, or spiritual inclinations, I was surprised at how my formative experiences have contributed to existential and social justice um, content in my art practice and a pastoral dimension in my teaching. As artists and educators, we're not in the business of curing souls. However, for me, it's a sort of a familiar territory and we can and do make meaningful contributions in this field of human experience. I came to Sydney to study art, something that I didn't really know anything about, and I also came to pursue a predictably short career as an elite cricketer. Um, and I had many positive experiences in my first year of art school, along with one or two that were, were less edifying. I gravitated to um, uh, the print room at, at a campus site in Cumberland Street in the Rocks, because I liked the deliberate pace of etching as a medium. And I was very lucky to encounter um, a very generous but challenging uh, lecturer by the name of Earl Bakken, who became a very important mentor. And I think we, uh, we need to realise how important it is to connect with mentors in communities like, like COFA. And one of the priorities that was impressed upon me was to set up a um, an educationally based custom printing workshop called Sakata Press, which is a research group under the, uh, the sort of guidance of the School of Art here. And uh, essentially what it does, it facilitates um, fine art print related practice with a whole range of, um, and a diverse range of artists that we invite to come into the studio. I think it's important for our students to experience a working relationship with artists who have varying conceptual um, and aesthetic interests. The differing procedural strategies employed in this collaborative uh, relationship um, is of, I think, crucial instructional benefit. I can't think of a better way for a student to deal with the challenge of understanding their own creative process um, than to participate in the conceptualising and the choices and struggles and the crafting uh, to completion of work by artists they respect. And as is often the case, um, I, I think they learn more um, dealing with and responding to artists that they might not necessarily have a connection with. Some of the connections that we make and establish are through former students. Um, I had a student when I first came here, Kitikong Tilakwadamotai, who was a postgraduate student who has since gone back to his home city in Chiang Mai. And since that time, we've had regular exchange exhibitions, and he's set up and run an amazing print workshop in Chiang Mai. My visit to Karachi coincided with a retrospective of my, uh, my prints and a Papunya exhibition, and culminated in a, in a print workshop with 12 Pakistani artists. And um, the, the outcome of that workshop was a portfolio of work that raised funds for the printmaking department at Indus Valley School of Art and Architecture in, in, um, in, in Karachi. 
closer to the ditch um, with New Zealand, uh, been involved in um, uh, projects, in this case the Kermitic project, which is a, I don't know if you're aware, it's um, a, a region of underground volcanic, um, uh, volcanic ridges that spread from Tauranga all the way through to, to, um, to Tonga. Most recently, we've, we've just two weeks ago finished a two-week residency um, with a range of Noongar and Kuri, Kuri artists. The, the outcomes for this residency uh, are that we're, we're planning some exhibitions and projects in North America and Canada. The best lesson that I've learned at COFA amongst a host of enthralling experiences is meeting Matt. Uh, along with the students, fortunate enough to in, have enrolled in the custom printing class that supports the activities of Matthew. Together we saw Matt literally shaking with excitement at being given the chance to work uh, in the print studio. I've never seen that uh, before. Now one of the positives at, at working with COFA um, is that it is, uh, to use the, the ecclesiastical vernacular, it is a broad church. I have tremendous respect for the scope of intellectual and creative talent um, among the staff and the students here at this faculty. Um, now while there is understandably often a single-minded commitment to the development of an individual's artistic identity, I do like the fact that there are people here committed in their own modest way to instruction centred on altruism, community and the value of lived experience in learning. Thank you.